Maria, which do you think is the most sensitive, your eyes or your ears? Well, I can't really compare them because they're two different things. Like apples and oranges, is the yes. same. Yeah. Well, but within the area of sound, which is more sensitive, your, I mean, and comparing your ear listening to sound and your eyes looking at light, which do you think is the most sensitive? I think my eyes. Why? Because I see many different colors mm -hmm. more than I, I hear different sounds. Well, you may be surprised because you and I are going to see if we can find out which is the most sensitive. In order to do that, we're going to use the colors of the spectrum that artists have, have devised. They've taken all the colors and broken them down into various shades. Here are sheets of paper that are the samples that, are, that artists can order. They go all the way from yellow through various shades of various colors, all the way down to white and gray and so forth. I have taken the blue ones out, 18 of the blue ones out of this. There are 220 here all together. I've taken 18 of them out, and here is an extra one. What I'd like you to do okay. is take that one and look down here on the floor. I have those 18 colors. Yes. I'd like you to match. You're going to have to use your eyes now to match the color with that with one of those. All right. Um, this bottom row um, is too, like, these colors are too dark. Mm -hmm. it, it has sort of a purplish color okay. to it. And then this row looks very, like the colors are very close to this mm -hmm. one. And this row, ha um, the shades have a bit of green in it, okay. and this, it doesn't match. So I'm going to stick with the middle row. All right. Um, these are still a bit too dark. Mm -hmm. So um, these look oh, like quite the same, and these look maybe a bit too light. So I'm going to stick with the middle ones. Okay. Um, I think this one still looks a bit too dark to me. I think it's this one. Okay. Now, artists, you can't say that's a bluish something or other, so they actually put numbers on each one of these colors so they can refer to it by number. Here's the color I gave you. Turn over that one that you chose, right? 6347. Right. Now turn over the next one over on that side. 6349. So you were just one off yes. in a total of 220 colors. So here. Now write down on the pad here, one in 220. That sort of gives us an idea of the sensitivity of your eyes, right, in choosing a color. Okay, take the pad over here. Let's go check your ears. Now see this equipment, Maria? With it, we're going to find out how sensitive your ears are. First, I want to turn them on. And when you throw that switch down like that, you hear that sound? Yes. Okay, now open the switch. Okay, now throw it in the other direction. First of all, wait a minute. You were listening to this power supply and this frequency generator and this speaker. Okay, now throw it the other way. Now you're hearing this one, and I'm going to change it so it's like that. Okay, now open it again. What I'd like you to do is to move that dial until both of the sounds are exactly the same. Just like you did with the colors over there, only you're now going to do it with sound. Okay. Okay. Leave that one alone. Okay. What's the matter with it that? It was too high. Too so high. Okay. Still too high. Still too high. Okay, I think okay. right there. Now, in order to find out how close you are, I will turn this on like this and put this little jumper on and we'll, we'll hear both of the sounds at the same time. And a very interesting phenomenon. You hear it getting louder and softer? Yes. Just a little bit? Uh-huh. That's what's known as beats. And you're within, how many of those in a second do you hear? In other words, count one second and how many times does it go up and down? About once? Once, yes. In fact, remember once, and I'm going to change a little bit, you'll hear the difference. Yeah. Now yes. you hear it about four or five times. Now move that dial so you get rid of them so there's no beats at all. 
two go. Go back up the other way. Keep going, more. There's about two or three. And you got it just one away. Now, what that means is that you were within one frequency in a total range of about 20,000, because let's assume that your ear can hear frequency down about 50, all the way up to 20,000. So let's assume the total range is 20,000, and you were able to determine one frequency in 20,000. Do you know what to write there now? Yes. So which is more sensitive in its sphere, your eyes or your ears? Your ears. Well, you really should think of it in another way. Your eyes are very sensitive, and you can see all those colors all the time. But if you put all those frequencies together, you would see just a jumbled mess, right, in color? Yes. But when you think about your ears, you're listening to a symphony orchestra. You hear the bass fiddle way down here and the piccolos way up there. Not only the basic frequencies, but all the little sounds that surround them that make you know it's a bass fiddle and a piccolo. Yes. So you're hearing all of those frequencies all at the same time. And your ear is, is sensitive enough to be able to pick out every single one of those. So both organs are very sensitive, but most people don't realize their ears are much more sensitive than they thought. Yeah.